In this video, we are going to talk about 10 Genius Ancient Siege Weapons. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for future updates. Defensive technology far outpaced attacking technology for the majority of the history of warfare. Most enemy armies might be kept out of your cities and strongholds with just a sturdy wall. Due to this discrepancy, sieges have been a common occurrence in military history. Number 10. Greek Fire For hundreds of years, Greek fire was a terrifying weapon. It was a liquid that, when in contact with water, would catch fire and burn anything it touched. It could be sprayed over a large area or launched from catapults toward opposing ships and siege weaponry. Greek fire's specific composition is unknown, but it is believed to have included pitch, resin, and caustic chemicals. Greek fire was purportedly only put out with sand, salt, or urine. Number 9. Battering Ram A battering ram is a siege weapon used to destroy castle or city entrance doors or walls of fortifications. A large, weighty object, like a log or metal head, is fastened to a frame and suspended from ropes or chains in this technique. Next a gang of soldiers would swing the battering ram back and forth, repeatedly and violently striking the intended structure. Number 8. Ballista. A ballista is a big, potent crossbow that was once employed as a siege weapon. It was made to shoot heavy bolts or stones with high force and accuracy, making it a useful weapon for striking enemy forces or destroying fortifications from a distance. A frame, two arms, and a bowstring make up the ballista. The bowstring is drawn back by a winch or lever mechanism. Number 7. Flamethrower. A weapon known as a flamethrower fires a stream of combustible gas or liquid that is later ignited to produce a long, ferocious blaze. It is frequently utilized in military operations, particularly in close quarters combat circumstances like urban warfare, with the aim of igniting enemy troops, buildings, or equipment. Number 6. Counterweight Trebuchet. A counterweight trebuchet is a kind of siege weapon that launches a projectile, either a rock or a heavy metal ball, over a great distance using a substantial counterweight. During the Middle Ages, fortifications, castles, and cities were all subject to attack with this common siege weapon. A long arm, a sling, and a counterweight make up the trebuchet. Number 5. Kopesh. The Kopesh is a sickle sword from ancient Egypt. Swords were not common in Egypt, and daggers and short swords of different types were often used with the exception of the Kopesh. The Kopesh is a thick, crescent-shaped blade. It is around 50 to 60 centimeters long. The inside of the hook is not sharpened but the outer part has a single cutting edge. The weapon could also be used as a hook and a bludgeoning tool. It was often made of bronze or iron. Number 4. Bognak. The Bognak, also known as the Bognaka, which means tiger claws is a claw-like weapon from ancient India. The weapon was based on the claws of big cats. There are four to five curved blades which were used to slash through the skin and muscle. There are two holes on the side of the weapon to fit in the thumb and the pinky finger which allow the user to conceal the blades within the palm. Number 3. Exploding Mill Wheel. An example of a siege weapon from the Middle Ages that was used to attack enemy defenses was an exploding mill wheel. The weapon was developed to take advantage of water mill power to produce a large explosion that may shatter an opponent's defenses. A huge wooden wheel that was stuffed with explosive substances, such as gunpowder, made up the exploding mill wheel. Number 2. Bognak. A claw-like weapon from ancient India is called a bognak, also called a bognaka and it is also referred to as a tiger claws weapon. The weapon was modeled like large cat claws. The skin and muscle were slashed with the help of four to five curved blades. The user can conceal the blades within the palm thanks to two slots on the side of the weapon that suit the thumb and pinky finger. Additionally, a knife-like weapon that could be used for both stabbing and thrusting was added to the sides. Number 1. Shotel. The Shotel is a curved sword with its origins in either modern-day Ethiopia or Abyssinia. Both mounted and foot soldiers made use of it. 
The semi-curved blade of the sword was designed to deliver stabs to important organs like the kidneys and lungs because it could pass past the opponent's shield. The shotel was not primarily constructed to cut or slice since the Abyssinians did not practice fencing in sword play. The blade is about 40 inches long, double-edged, and flat. What do you think about our video? Let us know in the comment box below. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Thank you.